This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. In today's episode, I will be ranting more about my iPhone. For those that don't know, I've been an iPhone user for many years. Um, there might have been, uh, like, yeah, there was like one year where I did a uh, switch and go get an, um, a Galaxy. And I had issues with that, and that's why I went back to iPhone. But honestly, at the end of the day, I would rather deal with those Galaxy issues all over again than to deal with this iPhone. Because I'm like, bro, it, it just doesn't even make any sense to me how I could be in my room. Or I could be in any other part of the house, right? I could be in any other part of the house. Further away from my Wi-Fi, right? Could be any other part of the house. I have to be in certain areas of my house, to be able to have like a fully functional iPhone. But if I'm in my room where I'm going to be at the majority of the time throughout the day, I can't use it. And I have a Wi-Fi. My thing is like, I know people will probably ask me well, what kind of Wi-Fi. I have one of those Wi-Fi boxes where it's like, okay, you get a wide range all throughout the house. And to furthermore prove that it's nothing wrong with my Wi-Fi, I can watch YouTube videos, no problem. I can play games, no problem. I have to say the only thing that I really do struggle with, but it's like after it's, you know, it seems like it's like at random occasions. I really don't understand that, but it's when I stream. But other than that, like, I'm be, I be chilling, bro. Like my, like everything else be working like properly and fine. It's when I use this iPhone, that's when I just get just full anger and rage, bro just full anger and rage to the point where I really just want to take this phone. I'm telling you right now, because I should be getting me some like extra money here soon. I'm going to go out and get me a new phone because I'm like, I can't use this iPhone no more. Like, luckily, I'm not in a situation where if I had to like use this for videos and crap, like if I had to use this for videos, I definitely would have had to like come out in a post or something and tell people that I'm taking a break from YouTube because currently right now, um, the phone that I have, it's just not a fully functional phone. It's a phone that I would not recommend to anybody. And I remember it was like, and it was a while ago and it did let, like, it, it left me a little hot. Like it left me a little upset and things, um, when this person said that, but they were all like, they tried to blame me. And I'm like, you mean to tell me all these iPhones I didn't had, and then hearing other people's um, problems with their iPhones, it's my fault. So me existing in the world. Where if it was like, if I was still was non-existent, iPhone would still have issues, bruh. So at the end of the day, I'm like, it is far from me. I'm probably a little speck compared to, you know, the issues that iPhone um has. And I know it's not um because of me. So that's, I'm like, I wasn't even trying to hear that. I was like, I, t- I remember I told that person, it was when I was streaming and I was like, I told that person straight up, I'm not even hearing that. I'm all like, because I'm like, I'm telling you right now, it's a, anybody in this world, you can ask them, have you had an iPhone? They're either going to say, yes, I've had problems or no, because I know iPhone has problems. So I'm like, uh, luckily to those out there that don't have an iPhone, like, man, I, you know, like, thank God for you. But with me, I'm like, man, it is honestly a pain having this iPhone, bruh. It is like I just like and that's the problem that it's been having recently is that it'll get like halfway through a TikTok video or an Instagram video. Half of the times the stuff ain't even loading up, but it'll just keep disconnecting me from my Wi-Fi. Now, why is that? Why is it that my laptop doesn't do that stuff? My Xbox doesn't do that stuff. I'm pretty sure if I had any other devices, I'm trying to think, well, my last phone, at least, and I don't know, maybe it's a T-Mobile thing. I'm like, maybe I need to go back to AT&T or Verizon because I'm like, man, if it is, because I know T-Mobile did that whole partnership with Sprint, and I'm like, yeah, Sprint, you guys, 
we already know the connection issues y'all be having with your stuff so it could it could very well be them it could very well be them because i'm like i i do remember when my dad i remember my dad when he had sprint he had sprint for the longest and that same level of anger that that man has like with his with his uh well when he used to have a sprint phone that's me now with my iphone like i used to laugh about that stuff but i'm like now i feel his pain like now i understand him because it's like you hear and see everybody else at at t cool uh verizon cool uh metro pcs i have i i've never heard no issues with them dang i might just check them out I'm like, if they got some dope Galaxy phones, if they got, like, the newer and current Galaxy phones, I might just check them out. Because I'm like, at the end of the day, I don't want to be with T-Mobile, and I don't want my iPhone no more. I really don't. Because I'm like, man, that stuff is so frustrating. You know, you're just sitting there just trying to use your phone and do stuff, and you can't. Like, right before right before I had uh, started streaming, I was, like, trying to post, like, because I when I, like, be, when, like, well, when I very first started off my stream... I'll go and like post all across social media to let people know that I'm live. And I got on like, it was for some, like just today, every other day throughout the week, it was working perfectly fine. But for some reason today, it just decided, oh, we're just going to be extra slow when posting stuff. I'm like, that's the type of things that will make a person break their phone. Do you guys not understand that? Like my thing is like, okay, if it's T-Mobile, I'm like, hey, yo, you guys cannot talk about how you got like 5G because I don't even have 5G. I still, it, it's either 4G or LTE. And I'm like, both of them things, trash. All right, can't use them unless you're like out in public somewhere or near a T Mobile store. But other than that, I feel like even when I am near a T Mobile store, it's still going to be messing up. It's still going to be having issues. And I remember when I was with ATT. Bruh, I can literally go anywhere in my house. I could go anywhere outside. I would be up and like, in, like, and then when this is like, cause when I, I remember when I had AT and T. Um, I was like, of course, like you know, like uh, during like or before the pandemic when like you know working in uh, Seattle and crap, I can use my phone just about anywhere. I would be at the bus stop scrolling through social media. I would be pretty much anywhere, you know. And for some odd reason, and I'm trying to think, I don't think I had no issues when I very first um, got my iPhone. Like, I don't think I had no connection issues or in, um, issues like going through like the internet and crap. But as the time progressed on, especially like this year with the pandemic, and I'm like, and look, I'm not even going to be that person that like, you know, blames like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's because a lot of people are using their phones. Bro, it didn't even matter whether you was using your phone prior before the pandemic or after the pandemic. This stuff has been going on for years, bro, for years where I'm having issues with my iPhones and crap. Like any iPhone I had, I remember when I had my iPhone 4, it was acting slow. When I had my iPhone 5C, it acted slow. When I had the iPhone 6, that acted slow. The only phone that I have to say that I had in the recent times was that Galaxy S8. And that was probably the fastest. I have to say the only problem I had with it was that it had a battery issue where the battery would just get drained out really fast. And then, um, uh, oh, and then it was like uh, like headphone connection issues because I had the Beats by Dre um, headphones. And for some odd reason, um, like, uh, uh, like Apple products don't work too well with Samsung Galaxy uh, phones. And I'm like, I find that stupid. Like, you're forcing people to go out and get an iPhone just so in case that they get. So it's like, when I do that, then it's like, because I have these Bose headphones, but the quality in it, it's like, I use them only for YouTube and crap. I only use them for YouTube or when I'm like watching a video or something or watching something off of my laptop. That's the only reason. And I'm like, now I'm being forced to go out and get, I had to go and get me some headphones that's compatible with it. And I'm like, man, no, Apple, how about you guys just make products that work? I'm saying, like, that's some stuff that I would really love to just sit down and just ask those guys, like, what is the problem? Like, tell me your guys' problems. Because I know for a fact that them problems can be fixable, bruh. I'm saying, like, if people have came through the gutters of whatever issues that they've had in life, you guys can very well come out with iPhones that work. Apple products that work like your headphones or anything else. No, you guys just still keep consistently releasing trash after trash after trash after trash, b having people spend thousands of dollars for this crap. And it's like, it ain't even working properly. So honestly, at the end of the day, what is the problem with that? Like, why is that? I'm not even trying to hear no crap where it's like, oh, well, we're trying our best to work on it. You mean to tell me it takes you guys almost 10 years to uh, work on this stuff? 
I remember when I very first got my I, I, the iPhone 4. It was when I was 14 years old. I had just started high school. So I remember I did go out. I did get me an iPhone. I was all happy about it. Or did I? Yeah, I think it was um, when I was in high school when I got that phone. Or was it... Was it my freshman or sophomore? Regardless, it was almost ten years ago, and I'm like, it was either um, it was either exactly ten years ago or almost ten years ago. My thing is like, it takes you guys this long, this long to just come out with like, and not even that, not even come out with an iPhone that works, but to come out with an iPhone that's slightly faster than an iPhone from back in the day. Like, I'm positive that they probably have videos out there where you can test out. Hold on for a second iPhone 4 speed versus iPhone 12 speed. Yeah, and there's like iPhone uh, 4 versus iPhone 12 five years ago, and it's a 10 um, year apart uh, um, from tech, tech formative, something like that. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I'm like that. It just doesn't even make any sense to me. It's like you guys... You have had these phones out for years, and it's like even when I talk to other people and they tell me about how slow their iPhones are, that's why it's like, you know, people be having Galaxy phones because they don't want to deal with that crap. And I'm like, man, and it's just, it's so stressful when you have a phone and you have spent all of this money on it just for it to act up. Not even like after, like, because I remember when I had got that Galaxy um, S8, it was First year, fine. Second year, cool. And then it kind of started messing up, like, you know, towards the end of that second year and stuff. So I remember the contract, it hadn't even fully expired yet. But it was already, like, um, 2020 and stuff when I did go out and get the iPhone 11. And within 2020, okay, the iPhone was already messing up. And I'm pretty sure everybody, like, for those that are new to my podcast... Um, or for those that are um, like, you know, you're veterans on my podcast, so you already know the backstory. You know, okay, you already know. But for those that are new, for those that are new to my podcast, just to tell you guys like how it was like how it was having my iPhone last year, you know, in 2020. So first month, cool. I love the phone. Appreciated it. Finally, I have me a new phone. I wasn't having no um, headphone issues. It was perfect, you know, and it, plus it had been a while since I had my last iPhone, so I'm like, all right, cool, you know, got me a new phone, second month, cool, third month, I'm trying to think, I think I started having some sort of issues uh, prior before it was like really starting to have issues, but it wasn't noticeable, it was some stuff where I'm like, hey, you know what, I ain't even tripping about it, I'm good, I'm good, then it got to, I remember it was Thanksgiving, it was Thanksgiving, so the literally the 11th month within 2020, right? The 11th month, that's when the iPhone started having issues. I'm sitting here, I remember I was like right before, I think it was the day of Thanksgiving. It was either the day of or the day before. It was at some point in time before um, or during that Thanksgiving week. I remember I'd go out, right? But prior before me going out, me and my dad were texting each other. And I can't remember when. We were probably talking about, like, Thanksgiving and all of that stuff. But we're texting each other, right? I go out, go on my little exercise walk for the week and stuff. Because, you know, heavily throughout 2020, I was exercising. You know, trying to just, you know, build my, to keep my strength going and things. So I'm out walking, right? I walk up to this gas station. I think I might have, like, stopped in to go get me a Red Bull real quick. I'm on my way back, and I'm like... Dang, you know, my dad usually responds to text messages really quick and stuff. How come he hasn't? So I'm thinking maybe I didn't send the message. Or no, that, so that actually was the issues I was having um, in the first few months when I had got my phone was that uh, messages wasn't going through. So, and that was one of the issues I noticed is that when I had text uh, Priscilla from Four Souls, you know, there would be at times where we're sharing memes with each other and we're just overall like texting each other like, you know, videos and crap. And I remember there was a time, I think there was a time where I was, uh, she asked me what pair, I was, because, of course, you know, like, I, I gotta, like, tell somebody, I couldn't really, because it was the pandemic, so I couldn't really tell anybody um, when I got me a pair of shoes, so I'm like, okay, best friend, texting them that I got on me a pair of shoes, somebody gonna know that I got me a new pair of shoes, alright, besides myself, but anyways, I go out, and I'm like, you know, like, she, I think she had asked me, like, oh, let me see and things, the uh, shoes that I got, so I text her, photo failed, photos um, failed to send, 
So it's like to that person telling me that it's my issue or it's my problem uh, that like, you know, my iPhones is having problems or something or is a or it's me that's behind the problem. You mean to tell me me just sending a photo? Literally, you could go on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You could go on all these platforms where you can send photos. But I decided that I'm going to text my friend send it, and that's my fault. That's my problem. Sure about that. Okay, sure, sure, all right? But anyways, that was the issues I remember I was having originally when I had got the iPhone. Like, after a few months. After a few months. So, fast forward. Now, Thanksgiving week. I'm, I'm walking back home. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, hey, my dad, I'm like, let me see if I sent this message. As soon as I had opened the messages up. Or, yeah, I opened up my phone, clicked on the message. That's when the message popped through. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. Why did they do that? Why did it, like, open up when I open up the messages or his messages to see if the message has sent? I'm like, that's that's weird. I'm like, I didn't even get no notification or none of that and things when um, I, I'm i like, huh, all right. So uh, then it started happening more and more. And I remember it, it wasn't, then it got to the point where I wasn't even getting notifications for nothing. So Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, text messages any of that stuff wasn't getting no notifications whatsoever but i had notifications turned on for all of those um apps text messages facebook twitter instagram all of it so my question is why am i not getting notifications when i'm out here sending messages and crap to people so and then there would be at times where uh me and zach from four souls we would be exchanging advice you know for youtube and photography and all of that stuff I wouldn't, because I remember he was the one that helped me get my vlogging camera. So I had to keep constantly opening up Instagram just to see if he, or just overall just have it just stay open and things and just waste the battery and stuff just to see if he sends a message. But if I turn that phone off or just, you know, click the button for it to, for the screen to go off and put it back in my pocket, I won't know if he sent me a message. So my question is, is why? So they eventually did fix it. Now, all of a sudden, I'm having these internet connection issues where I'm just, just doing like the most simplest things. I'm just out here just scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whichever, right? Whichever. And this thing will legit just start disconnecting from my Wi-Fi. So here's how I have my Wi-Fi set up. I got two different Wi-Fi boxes. Or, it, well, it's it's one Wi-Fi box, but it has, like, two different connections. So it has one connection, then it has the 5 gigahertz connection. The 5 gigahertz connection is much more faster. So I keep all my stuff connected to that because I'm like, it's much more faster. But when I have it on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz um, Wi-Fi thing, amazingly slow. Crazy slow, bruh. Crazy, crazy slow to the point where it's just not even usable. And I'll have it where it's connected to the 5 gigahertz one. So I'm not using my Xbox. I'm not streaming. I'm not using my laptop. I will legit just be laying in my bed, scrolling through Instagram or looking at TikTok videos. All of a sudden, TikTok video will freeze on me. Instagram um, videos will freeze on me. Instagram photos not even loading up. Go to view a story. That's not loading up. I go and click on the Wi-Fi settings. It shows that it's connected to the 2.4 gigahertz. I'm like, why is it connected to that? Connect to the 5 gigahertz. And I'll connect to it, go back, start doing it again. Disconnects all over again. Go back and it's like unable to connect to it. And I'm like, look, I'm typing up the Wi-Fi. It should stay connected. I don't know why it keeps doing that disconnection stuff, but people have to understand how frustrating that is. And I'm trying to be peaceful. And I'm trying to understand, but I don't. I do not understand. So at the end of the day, this is what I, what's going through my head. I have a defective iPhone. I don't want this phone no more. And then you go out and try to message T-Mobile and be like, hey, my phone is defective. It's not staying connected to the Wi-Fi. They're trying to give me another iPhone 11. I'm like, no, I want something far away from an iPhone 11. I do not want that phone, bruh. So I'm like, man, it just... It's very frustrating. I think that's what I need to do probably after this. I am going to talk to a T-Mobile uh, representative and ask them, like, hey, is it possible to exchange my phone if it's defective, like, and get, you know, another phone? Because I just feel like it's kind of messed up. And my thing is, like, look, I'm, I'm willing to pay for that phone. I am. But I just feel like it's messed up when I'm paying you guys a monthly bill and I'm not even getting, you know, the phone service that I should be deserving of. 
you know it would make sense like if the phone was like messing up at the start and then it start you know like working out like at the end of it all i'm like oh okay well then cool you know i got me a working phone now it, it's gonna mess up and have its issues because it's a brand new, you know like how like for an example like how video games when they get released and crap and it'll be like all messed up at the beginning but fast forward to the end you got yourself a playable video game. So you ain't got to update it and do all these maintenance things. Because right now, the ballpark that iPhones are like in is EA games. NBA 2K. Them type of games. Where they got the Division 2. Where you got to do like a weekly maintenance update to just have it where it's somewhat usable. But not all the way usable. So I'm like, yeah, after this... No, I, I'm going to have to have a conversation with somebody at T-Mobile because I'm like, bruh, that just doesn't. I, and I'm going to try to be like that calm, cool, collected person, you know, even though I really just want to go off on everybody because I'm like, it just doesn't even make, make any sense to me how an iPhone will have that many issues. And it's like, I just got this iPhone last year, bruh, like over a year ago. I got it over a year ago in January of 2020, and it was messing up within the first few months. So I'm going to talk to somebody, and if I don't get nothing, I'm telling you right now, I'm dropping T-Mobile. I'm going to probably go to Verizon and just try my luck there because I'm like, you guys, y'all seem like you know what you're doing and things. I never really hear too many problems with them. So I'm like, I'm going to try my luck there if I don't get like no good you know, services from T-Mobile because I'm like, look, at the end of the day, if you want, my thing is like, if you want customers, don't sell them defected stuff. Like, imagine if you were to go to a restaurant and they sell you, you, you ask for a lobster, they give you like a picture of a lobster or they give you a box of cereal called lobster or they just, you get like a 3D. No, you want an actual lobster. You want some actual food. You don't want half of it. You don't want three fourths of it. You don't want... 10 twelfths of it even if, if that's an actual fraction number you don't want you want the one the one full lobster okay that's it that's all that i asked for i just asked for my full lobster if i'm gonna be giving you guys full money for it and stuff but anyways i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening this rant <laughs> i think i'm a little bit calm cool and collected now you know i'm relaxed now that i just got all of that out of my system and stuff but um, anyways, yeah, talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 33 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at TMossBoss. Make sure you like my Facebook page at TMossBoss Fan Page. And also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMossBoss. It will knock $20 off of your first purchase. And that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.